Hey everyone. Today we are solving a real world problem using different laws and rules involving triangles. But before we begin, please remember to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on future videos. So let's get started. Three boats are at sea. Shark bait, coral, and the Antarctic. The crew of shark bait can see both coral and the Antarctic. The angle between the line of sight to coral and the line of sight to the Antarctic is 45 degrees. Coral and shark bait are 2 miles apart, while shark bait and the Antarctic are 4 miles apart. What is the distance between coral and the Antarctic? Let's get a top view of the situation so we can better see the triangle we are working with. Go ahead and draw the triangle so you can solve it with me. So, how can we find this? Our first thought might be to use the Pythagorean theorem or some other laws of trigonometry we have learned. But here, we do not have a right triangle. We are going to use something called the law of cosines to find our missing side. Let's look at the law of cosines. We will start with triangle ABC. Notice how we are naming the sides opposite the angle, the lowercase letter of the angle. Angle A's opposite side is called A, angle B's opposite side is called B, and angle C's opposite side is called C. We can use this law to find side C, which is opposite the known angle in an SAS triangle. Remember, SAS means that we know an angle and the length of the two sides adjacent to our angle. We can also use the law to find any angle in an SSS triangle, or a triangle where all the sides are known. Let's look at this triangle. It's a side angle side triangle with known sides of 8 and 11. The known angle is 63 degrees. We can say that side A equals 8, side B equals 11, and angle C equals 63 degrees. If we substitute the known variables into the formula, we get this here. Next, we can work out the exponents, multiplication, and find the value of cosine 63. Then, multiply 176 and 0 0.454 together to simplify further. Simplify the right-hand side to get c squared equals 105.096. And finally, we take the square root of both sides to find the length of C. Let's look at the side-side-side triangle with the sides of 9, 5, and 8. We want to find angle C. Using the same formula, we can substitute the variables to get this. First, we'll work out the exponents and multiplication to get 64 equals 81 plus 25 minus 90 times cosine of C. Next, subtract 106 from both sides and then divide both sides by negative 90 to isolate the term cosine C. We can use the cosine to the negative 1 function on our calculator to find our angle of 62.2 degrees. So as we can see, the law of cosines is handy when working with non-right triangles. Now let's find the distance between coral and the Antarctic. We will start by labeling our angles and our sides so that we can easily find the variables needed to solve our formula. Angle B is our known 45 degrees and our known sides are A equals 2 and C equals 4. We will also go ahead and set X equal to B. First, we will work out our exponents, multiplication, and find the value of cosine 45 degrees. Next, we can multiply 16 by 0 0.707 and further simplify our right side. Take the square root of both sides and we get a distance of x equals 2.95 miles. Now let's find the measure of angle C using the law of sines. The law of sines is another useful tool to have when working on non-right triangles. 
The law of sines works with ratios of sides to angles while using the sine function. It says that the ratio of side A over sine of angle A is equal to side B over sine B, and these are both equal to side C over sine C. So they're all equal to each other. Let's use this triangle here to prove this is true. Starting with side and angle A, we'll get a ratio of 19 over sine 41 degrees. If we work this out, we get approximately 28.963. Using B, we get a ratio of 28 over sine 75 degrees. When we simplify this, we get approximately 28.986. And last, C over sine C is 26.1 over sine 64 degrees. When simplified, this is about 29.065. Obviously, these three values aren't exactly equal, but that's due to rounding differences. When using the law of sines to find missing side, A, we can set up a proportion. The proportion will be A over sine 61 degrees is equal to 8 over sine 89 degrees. To isolate the variable A, because it is in the numerator, we can simply multiply both sides by sine 61 degrees. When simplified, we get A equals 7. Using the same proportions, we can find the missing angle B. We can set up the proportion of 28 over sine 62 degrees is equal to 25 over sine B. Remember our rules of proportions. It says that the numerator of ratio 1 times the denominator of ratio 2 equals the numerator of ratio 2 times the denominator of ratio 1. This means that sine b times 28 equals 25 times sine 62. Move the 28 to the right side, and now we have sine b equals 25 times sine 62 degrees all over 28. Simplify the right-hand side, and it comes to 0.788. Lastly, sine to the negative 1 of 0 0.788 equals our angle of B equals 52 degrees. Let's look back at our boats in the ocean and try to find angle C. We can begin by setting up the ratio of B over sine B equals C over sine C. This gives us 2.95 over sine 45 degrees to 4 over sine C. We will rewrite this to be sine C times 2.95 equals sine 45 times 4. Simplify the right side to 2.828. Now divide both sides by 2.95 to get sine C equals 0 0.959. To find C, we again use the sine to the negative 1 function on our calculator, and we get the answer of 73.5 degrees. Finally, let's find the measure of angle A. We know that the sum of the internal angles of a triangle is 180 degrees, so we can substitute the known angles into B and C and then simplify the left side. Finally, solve for A to get the angle of 61.5 degrees. Finding the missing sides and angles of a triangle is called solving the triangle and it is a useful bit of knowledge to have in your math classes. These types of questions also come up in exams and other standardized tests such as SATs or ACTs. That's it for today. Check the description for a link to a worksheet for more practice, and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.